Hey everybody, testing out the audio, you know the dealio. Let me know how I sound. If I sound weird or too loud or too quiet, if the music's too loud, just let me know. And we're gonna get started in uh, just a couple minutes. I gotta deal with a, a very loud and annoying Jimbo. But we'll be on in just a sec. Hey everybody, look at that. That was some good timing, right? I was like, song's about to end, let's do it. I look so red right now. Well, that's weird. Anyhow, whatever, we're gonna deal with it. I think it's because the background's so orange, but eh, whatever. Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. Today, oh wait, I gotta pause that, there we go. Today, we're gonna be crocheting some pumpkins. 
And they're very cute. We're also going to be uh, visited by a Jimbo at w some point. This music seems really loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. And we're just gonna chill out. We're having a, a nice, chill live stream day. It's, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling, feeling chill. And I hope you are too. All right, well, let's move on to the, you know, you know, the main, the main squeeze. Here we go. Ba bam Beautiful. All right, so today we are going to be crocheting some pumpkins. Look at how cute they are. This is the newest uh, free tutorial that's out now. Um, I put the link uh, for where you can crochet along with us with the free tutorial. I put it uh, right here on screen, clubcrochet.com slash pumpkin. It's also in the description, in the chat. It's everywhere. It's totally free tutorial, uh, and I'm really proud of it. It's also a no-so tutorial. Um, Puppy Time with Riley says, don't start yet. I have to get my dogs inside. Don't worry, we got a whole spiel first. But let me go through the spiel, and then we'll get started. So you got a, you got a sec. You got a sec. Okay, so first off, let's talk about everything that you need to crochet this pattern along with me if you would like to crochet it uh, and then we'll move on to how you can support this channel and then we'll just get crocheting okay so if you want to crochet this along with me you'll need the following materials I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% wool what you want to use today is something uh, squishy something something kind of squishy you don't want to use 100% cotton I mean you can use 100% cotton but you don't really want to if you can avoid it because it's not as squishy and you're gonna need it to be squishy so that you can make the different segments so I'm gonna be using 100% wool today um, I do have crochet kits available with all this yarn this is actually this month's club crochet pro kit so if you want to get a kit I'll put links in the description but I'll explain that a little bit more later the other thing that you're going to want to need is obviously a crochet hook. I'm going to be using a size G 4 millimeter hook today. Uh, it just works really well with this yarn. You can use, by the way, you can use any size yarn you want, any kind of yarn you want. It doesn't really matter. But what does matter is that it's kind of squishy and that your crochet hook works well with the yarn that you have. That's really the most important stuff there. Um, is it okay to use a 5.75 millimeter hook? That's what Matthew asks. Yes, as long as your yarn is a little bit thicker. That being said, uh, you probably can use a 5.75 millimeter hook uh, for even this size yarn. Just crochet it maybe a little tighter so that your holes aren't too open. And I'll, by the way, throughout this live stream, if you have any questions like that, please feel free to ask in the chat. I will do my best to respond to as many as I can. Um, but this is a good opportunity for you to ask for extra help if you're uh, stuck at any point in any pattern. It doesn't have to be just this pattern. Any tutorial, any crochet advice that you want, I'm here for you. The other thing that we're going to be doing today is trying to make it into a jack-o'-lantern. So I got an idea. I think I can use this black felt and a needle felting tool to needle felt on a jack-o'-lantern face. So that's what we're gonna try after we finish making our um, our pumpkin itself. If you want to do that, all you need, uh, if you wanna try that with us, it might totally ruin our pumpkin, so heads up, it might not work at all. But if it might also work. If it does work, what you'll need is <laughs> some black felt, that's all. Just some black felt and a needle felting tool. These, uh, are very, very sharp needle felting tool. I don't know if you can totally see it. <laughs> I sneeze. I sneezed. <laughs> Puppy times. I said, don't start. Um, uh, <laughs> well, I gotta explain stuff. I'm not, don't worry. We won't start crocheting until you get those dogs out. Um, it has little like barbs on it to help you needle felt in, but we'll talk more about this tool a little bit later as well. Um, I think we might actually have some for, no, we don't have them for sale. They do come in a kit that we sell though. Uh, okay, you also need a darning needle for sewing in the ends. I like using a crimped end like that. It's really helpful and some scissors. And of course you need some stuffing. As far as the colors of the yarn go, you're going to need your main color and a secondary color. Main color is going to be the body of your pumpkin. Secondary color is going to be the stem. So I'm going to use green and orange for this video. But you can see I have a white pumpkin here and I actually really like the white pumpkins a lot. I think they're very cute. Um, okay, so that's everything that you need for today. Uh, other than the pattern, if you want the pattern, like I said before, 
right here, clipcrochet.com slash pumpkin, or in the description or in the chat. Um, okay, next up, how you can support this channel before we get crocheting. If you want to help support this channel, there's a few ways that you can do so. Um, the first easy way is just like and subscribe. I know I say that all the time, but seriously, it does help this channel a lot. Please subscribe to the channel down below. Like this video. If this video gets uh, 300 likes, we're going to do a giveaway next live stream. So that's kind of the incentive. So please like this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss future videos. We're going to be doing uh, a lo-fi hip-hop crochet along, I think, next week. Uh, we've got a new, a few new patterns coming out soon, so yeah, subscribe. If you want to support this channel monetarily, uh, the best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I have almost 300 tutorials now, and I add new ones every single week. Every single tutorial comes with a full video tutorial as well, so... It's, you get a lot for only $5 a month. You can even get a free trial to get started. And you can get monthly kits with all the materials you need mailed to your door each month for whatever we're adding to the library that month. Next month's Club Crochet kit is going to be for a humming burb or a turkey burb. It's, it's our burb day. November is our burb day. We're turning five. Club Crochet is turning five whole years old this, this year. So we're doing more burbs. Um, I'm going to be adding more than just the humming burb pattern to the website. But the kit is going to be for either a humming burb or a turkey. And of course, it's going to come with all the materials you need to make it into a burb. And it comes with the magnets so that you can have them perch on anything metal. They're super strong magnets. They're called neodymium magnets. Uh, so yeah, they're really really cool and it's a also a great way to support the channel uh, with a pro membership You should totally do so. It'd be awesome. You also get like discounts in the shop Speaking of if you want to help support with purchasing merch, we've got merch in the store. We've got a bunch of crochet kits uh, We've got t-shirts coming out soon including a Jimbo t-shirt and one I actually just got done designing today um, So yeah bunch of new merch coming out soon check that out in the shop and then the final way to help support monetarily, if you'd like to, is with a club, or is with a tip. That's right, you can tip me because you're really sweet and you like what I'm doing and you want me to keep doing it. And if you tip, I'll either put something on screen or in the background. If it's over $15, we put it in the background. Let me switch screens real quick and you'll see. This right here is our wall of crochet tips uh, and everybody who tips gets to add something to uh, this here shelf which is actually in my office and it'll stay here until we fill this whole thing up. We'll take a family picture and we'll post it online. It'll be really cute and nice and you get to name each one of them. So we have a bunch of different ones. We got Freddy the Dragon here, Wompert, Sunshine, Leonidas. You get to name it, you choose it, and it'll keep that name. And we actually already have one, Cooper. Thank you so much for your support. Cooper said, I'm excited for the stream today. I've had the exact same idea with felting needle. Super cool. I can't wait to see if it's gonna work. Uh, I think it will, I really do. And Cooper, for your support, we're gonna put out something today. I'm gonna give you the choice between three different creatures. Actually, you know what, let's do two, we'll save We'll save one of these. I'm gonna save this one for a later time because it's an easier easier decision process when you can choose just from two. So let's switch screens. I will add them to the background once you choose which one and which name you want. The first option is this fellow right here. It is like this weird bird head that I made. I really, I wanted to make it a body, but then I was like, you know what? I really like it. It's just like this ball of bird head. I just, it thinks, it looks like a, I don't know, just like a weird creature that I really, really liked. Um, so that's your first option. Uh, I actually made this because I was going to work on a puppet, a little bird puppet. So there's your first option. Second option is this fella here. This is an antlered, I think I call it an antlered hibigon. Uh, it is a creature that is very shy and very cute. Uh, and I made it a long time ago. It's also very, very furry. Um, so yeah, those are your choices. You let me know which one you'd like me to add to the background and what kind of name you'd like me to give it. And uh, yeah. All right. So that is my spiel. I hope you're ready, puppy time. Dogs are inside now. I can go. Okay, great. Great. Let's get these out of the way. 
And we're gonna be very careful about this. That is our sharp, sharp needle. So we're gonna put that in the corner and pretend it doesn't exist. And we're not going to stab ourselves by accident. I never have, but I've always been very afraid of that. Uh, okay. Get our yarn. We can, I, you know what? Let's put our pumpkins right here in the corners. That's kind of cute, you know? Can you see them on the corner? Yeah, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. All right. So we're going to get crocheting now. And like I said, the patterns on the website is a very beginner-friendly pattern. So if you have never crocheted before, this is a great way to, uh, to uh, do it. Oh, we have another Tim Nation. Tina, thank you so much. Tina has super chatted. And Tina, for super chatting, I'm going to put something on screen here. Oopsies. I dropped a bunch of stuff. Let's see. I have uh, some other pumpkins that I've made. Let's go ahead and put one of these out for you, Tina. This is one I made a long time ago. The tutorial for this one actually also is on the website, but I wanted to redo the pumpkin pattern uh, because I just thought I could make it a lot easier and better. Um, so that one, the new one's a lot easier than this one, but this tutorial is also on the website for a pumpkin and it teaches you how to do color changes to make a jack-o'-lantern shape. Uh, and I just don't post about it a lot because it's really hard to make. And it's, uh, and I make them out of cotton and I learned after doing this that that's probably not the best way to do it because you can see how the edges aren't as defined as they normally would. But let's put this out for you, Tina. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm sure Jack Gurgle will very much appreciate it. That is our, uh, I don't know, what do we call Jack Gurgle? A resident goblin. Resident Gerblin. All right, so we're gonna keep crocheting. Oh, and wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Johnny, thank you for your support as well. <laughs> we're rocking and rolling today. Um, Let's do another little, we'll do an, hmm. You know what, here, let's do, let's do this for Johnny. We'll keep doing pumpkins, but we're gonna do, we're gonna switch it up now. We're gonna do this little pumpkin cat. Another tutorial on the website. This one also is actually a free tutorial uh, and, is, and is by another Amy Groomy artist. I believe it's Anya Zahn, something like that. Um, you should check it out. It's a cool pattern. Uh, it has a be d decent amount of sewing stuff together to do, but I mean, look at how cute it is. It's, it's so, so cute. Um, but yeah, another free tutorial on the website if you'd like. Thank you so much for your support. Johnny, I really appreciate it. I'm so sorry I didn't finish up that skull pattern. I I feel really bad about it and I'm really sorry, but I'll, I'll message you about that uh, later. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here for you. Okay, now we're gonna get crocheting. Now we're gonna get crocheting. <laughs> Unless anybody wants to interrupt me again. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just start with the stem of our pumpkin. What's really nice about this pumpkin pattern is it's all made in one piece. We don't need to sew anything together. Um, we can sew on the leaf uh, later, but you don't really need to. Uh, and we can make our pumpkin as big or as small as we want. Now, I'm not gonna go through the actual crochet pattern today since I actually already made a full video tutorial. So if you want the full video tutorial, again, you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash pumpkin. But in this, live stream we're just crocheting together um i will help out with different parts if you're having like difficulty making certain things but uh you i'm not going to go through every stitch of this pattern since i already did that in a video so yeah okay 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 yes uh you can make a free account on the website a few patterns on the website do require a free account for you to uh view um, some of them don't require a free account, but uh, it's, I mean, it's free, you know, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, and yeah, it does give you access to some extra patterns and some extra things on the website. So it's kind of a cool way to, uh, you know, join the club a little bit. You also get emails and stuff like that when we come out with new stuff. There is a brand new uh, volcano pattern that's out right now too. So I, I re uploaded the volcano pattern. I edited all the live streams from the volcano together. It took a long time. It's like a seven hour video, but it goes through every part of the pattern. So I was like, you know what? Let's just put it all together, add it to the website, make a 
really cool PDF. Oh my gosh, the PDF is like, honestly, I, I was like, oh my God, this is like my new style of, for PDFs now, I think. I'm, I'm gonna use this as the template. Um, it looks really cool. I, I think it's a really good pattern, actually. I, I was like worried about it when we were actually crocheting it, but after putting it all together in one full video and then like putting all the time codes and writing the pattern down, Quick thanks to Cooper for writing that pattern down for us. Seriously, Cooper, you are a saint. Um, but after doing all that, it made it a lot easier. And it's actually a free pattern on the website too. So, you know, I just thought, let's get a little bit more free going on. I've been doing a lot of member exclusive ones and we're gonna do more member exclusive ones next month. But we, I wanted to do a few, few free ones. Um, I, By the way, I'm making the stem right now. I think we're gonna go pretty long with the stem just for fun. Uh, because if you can see in the that's the normal size stem right here This is the stem that we do I do in the actual tutorial But this is the stem that I made for the white one just for fun and look how much longer it is I just think it's really cute when it's that long So we're gonna try to do a long one today and do maybe a pipe cleaner in there to make sure that we can bend it in different ways I'm also surprised this one's got a face, but <laughs> We're gonna do it like that um Oh, Scampy, thank you so much. Oh, they can't stay for long because it's super late in Germany. But thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's keep that pumpkin train going. I think this actually, this might be the last pumpkin that I have. Um, but it's just so dang cute. Like, why not add it? Look at how adorable this pumpkin is. It's so cute. I just did a little bit of design stuff here. I think this was my original prototype when I was designing pumpkins. So that's why that's there. Oh, it's so cute. Um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Okay. So we got a lot of questions about my Sunday live stream. So sunshine, by the way, hi sunshine, uh, asked it, will I be doing live streams on Sunday again? And then dark storm says that they prefer it when they don't do Sunday live streams. So I kind of also prefer it if I don't do Sunday live streams because it gives me my weekends back a little bit. I was having a hard time um, like work-life balancing <laughs> when I was doing my live streams on Sunday. There was a lot of like family events that I had to keep missing because I was like, I gotta do a live stream on Sundays. So I think the answer is they might be back, but in a different way. Um, I think if I do start doing my live streams on Sundays again, I will probably uh, do something slightly different for my live stream Sundays, and uh, they won't be as often as the Thursday ones, just because it's a lot easier to do them on Thursdays. Um, I know they're a little bit later, but it just does make my life a lot easier. And I also figure, you know, people get off of work, people get off out of school and stuff to join the live streams. I know Sundays, a lot of people also have free, but sometimes people want to plan things on their weekend. And I've just found that maybe Thursdays are a better option there. Let me know what your question is, or, or let me know what your preference is if you have one. Um, Chirp a little says that they prefer Sundays because it's too late here and they can't stay for the streams, but I they understand. Thank you for understanding. And I do see that too. I think I might start doing like, maybe I'll start doing live streams at completely different times. I think that might be kind of fun. Just every now and then doing one at like, you know, a super late night one where it's like, I start live streaming at like midnight for me, because then it's not midnight for a lot of people around the world, you know? So then people in Germany can stick around and stuff like that. So yeah, other options. I don't know. I keep them. I keep it in the, uh, yeah, I just I'm keeping I'm keeping the ideas going, you know, just in case I want to change things up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crochet this or hide this end in a little bit. Um, I want to get a stick for sewing. Oh, you know what? Uh -huh, I have one right here. So I'm just gonna use this little stick to stuff this little tail end back into the back into here. Puppy time missed a stitch. No! All right. There we go. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. Uh, Fulman asks, "A passé que est en bois?" I don't know what I don't know what that all means. But they did say, "Could you please zoom in?" Um, yeah, I could zoom in for you if that's what you're asking. I think that's what you're asking. I don't speak French. I mean, I do actually speak a little bit of French, but not that much. So if I zoomed in, if you want to see it a little bit closer, this is what we're currently working on. I just wiggled the heck out of this camera, though. But yeah, this is what we're currently making. I know it's very tiny, what we're working on right now. Um, it's just the stem. And I'm just, I basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just single crocheting around over and over until it's as long as I want it to be. So we're gonna go a little bit longer uh, and then add the pipe cleaner in there just to see how it's gonna be shaped. But it's just six single crochets around over and over right now as I go. Yeah. There you go. See? Very simple. Basically making a little tube. A little tube. And what's that? There's the perfect zoom in, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. How's your guys' week been? Anybody having a good week? Anybody got any plans for Halloween? It's next weekend. Well, I guess it's not next weekend. It's what? Next Monday, I think, is actually Halloween. But I have a feeling all the like Halloween parties and stuff are going to be next weekend. I'm actually going to my cousin's wedding next weekend. I'm super duper excited. My cousin Sarah is getting married. Uh, she is uh, one of my best friends, honestly. We lived together for a while in San Francisco. Um, and her future husband... Uh, Travis is awesome, so I'm very excited to go to that wedding. Also, my fiance and I are going to get married soon, too, so we're going to definitely be taking notes. <laughs> uh, I think we're just about as long as I want it to be. Well, we can go a little longer than that. Because what we could also try doing is we could, like, try twirling the, twirling the end or making it go, like, really crazy up. Which could be kind of fun, you know? Do something a little weird for this pumpkin. I got so many of these pumpkins now. I'm giving them to just so many people. How long have I been crocheting for? I'm genuinely curious. I have been crocheting since I think about sophomore year of high school. I graduated in 2010. So I think I've been crocheting for about 15 years. Uh, and I've been doing patterns for pretty much that entire time. So I started and I got hooked really, really quick and then I just started right away writing my own patterns. So yeah, I've been writing patterns and stuff for a long, long time. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I, I don't know if they're gonna do a Halloween, uh, like Halloween-y costume -y thing for the wedding since it is like Halloween weekend, but I'm gonna bring a costume anyhow, just in case. Just in case. You never know. That's pretty good. Maybe we could get it like really big and we can make it like go like this a little bit, like an S. Is that kind of weird? We'll do, we'll do like three more rounds there. <laughs> yeah, pun was definitely intended actually <laughs> for that hooked uh, statement. Is high school where people find their hobbies? I mean, that's where I found a lot of my hobbies. Um, I started, I play ukulele and I started that in high school. Um, I also, I started a lot of hobbies in high school though. I started playing accordion a lot in high school too, um, but I don't do that anymore. And let's see, what else? Uh, video games, but I didn't really start video games in high school. I just got really into them in high school. And I still am. By the way, video game talk. Anybody been playing Splatoon? I am absolutely addicted to this new Nintendo game, Splatoon. It's, you're, you play as this little squid people and you, and you ink the board. It's kind of like a first person shooter, but well, it's third person and it's not graphic. It's, you're, you're covering the, the, you're, it's basically like you're using squirt guns with ink in them instead of like actual guns. 
I love it. It is so much fun and very intense, or you can play it in so many different ways. I just think it's a really cool game. Uh, hard suggestion. You should totally do it. Yes, I think what I'm going to probably wear, Zoe, for Halloween is my huge fan costume because it is so easy. Uh, for people that aren't aware, I've been wearing the same costume for Halloween for like the past... Like four years, maybe five years. <laughs> it's just so easy. I take a giant fan and I strap it to my body. And then I go around and I ask people what they're dressed as. And then when they tell me, I say, oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> it's, it's so good. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to go da, 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 try to find it the end of this one, two. Okay, so let's do four more crochets. I'm just trying to line it up with ac the actual end of the rounds. It doesn't really matter, but I don't know. It's a good, it's a good stopping point. I think this is it right here. We're just going to say that's it, because whatever. Um, and now we're going to make the stem, or the vine, rather. Okay. Slump stitch one. This music's chill as heck, by the way. If you want to follow along with this music, uh, I put the description on where I got this music from. Uh, it is a very nice lo-fi hip-hop uh What's their, what are they called? Uh, music label that has given us uh, the rights to use their music in our live stream. So thank you. Shout out to them. Um, I put links to their information in the description where you can find all the music, by the way. Um, okay, so now we're making the vine. And the vine is in a similar way of like you can make it as big as you want. Uh, or, or like it has like a suggested amount of chains to make it. But... Let's get wild for this pumpkin and make a ridiculously long vine. I mean, it's all going to be curled up anyhow, but like, I just think it'd be kind of fun, you know? So I'm going to make a really, really long vine. And they're super easy. You can see how easy this pattern can be. It's just like, since it's all made together, you don't have to like sew anything on. It's just so much easier to just... Boop, 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 boop. By the way, this weekend I did a get wild. We're crazy up in here. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen next. We could make even a longer vine or a second vine. We're crazy. Wild even. <laughs> You totally can steal my uh, costume idea. It is a good costume. Good costume. It is very easy, very good to wear. Long vine is long. By the way, I don't, I think I mentioned it, but this was this month's Club Crochet kit. So everybody that was a Club Crochet Pro member, um, and gets the monthly kits, uh, got a kit this month with all these materials in them. And I really enjoy doing the doing the kits where they're 100% wool, because I really like crocheting with wool if I can. Um, I like crocheting with cotton a little bit more, but it does make it a little easier to crochet with wool since it's so soft and easy to work with. And I don't really like working with acrylic if I can avoid it. So it was nice to have a kit this month with all wool in it. Froggy, you got a question about the pattern. I would love to answer that question. What is your pattern question, Froggy? I'd be happy to help. Happy to help. Kind of spun this chain around while I've been making it. But look, it's already, it's curving, curling itself without me even having to do anything to it. Go front loop only and slip stitch. Look at this. I don't even really need the pattern. I memorized this 
because I've made so many of them. And that is our green yarn. We'll come back to that later when we want to add the leaf. Can I explain round two for the stem? Oh yes, no problem. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to. Okay, so let me, um, ah, I got my yarn stuck in my toast. Here, let me just get a stem started again for you, Froggy, and I will explain round two a little bit clearer for you because it's only round two. It's really quick for me to get there. Um, so I'm just gonna start, let me zoom in too for you. Thank you for asking, by the way. And again, like if you ever have any questions like this, this is the perfect opportunity for you to ask. Okay, so I'm on round one right now, and I'm just crocheting six into the magic loop. Four, five, and six, and then I'm gonna close the magic loop. Okay, so for round two, the first thing you wanna do is find the first single crochet that you made. Um, the easiest way to do that is to count backwards from where this loop is coming out and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So this, these two right here are gonna be the first single crochet that you made. Okay, so for round two, the first thing you wanna do oh, after that, the second thing is you wanna slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made. And this is just gonna connect the circle a little bit. So we wanna go into that under both of these loops at the same time and do a slip stitch. So we'll yarn over pull it through and pull it through the loop on the hook. Okay, so now here's where round two gets a little complicated. What we wanna do is we wanna start by chaining one and that'll give us a little bit of height. And then we wanna work into all the single crochets that you made from round one, but you only wanna work into the back loops of all the stitches. So if you look at, uh, let's just choose a random stitch here, right here. This would be working under both loops, like normal. That's how I normally crochet. But for this round specifically, we wanna work only in the back loop, which means this one furthest away from us right here. So we wanna work single crochets into all the stitches around, only working into the back loop. The first stitch that you wanna work into is actually the same stitch that you slip stitched into. So that's gonna be right here. So we worked a little slip stitch in that stitch, and now we wanna work only into this back loop from that last, from that first stitch right there. And we're gonna start in that first one right here, back loop only, and then do a single crochet. And we'll keep doing that for all the back loops around. There should only be six single crochets total. So that's one, two. This is the best, uh, the best thing to do right now is keep count of your stitches. Three, because you only want six four, and at the end it's kind of hard to tell where the last stitches are. Five, and here's the last one right here will be six. So here's where it gets complicated because it looks like this next one is also a stitch, but it's not. That's the slip stitch you made, and then the loop next to that is the chain. So you don't need to work into those. And then in round three, you can just start into the first single crochet that you made in round two under both loops simultaneously. I go through this in the video tutorial for this pattern in much uh, more detail and a lot slower. So that I would suggest going to check out that video after this if you're still having trouble. Okay, there's that. And now we can pull this out. We'll come back to it later. And let's switch. Yes, you can hear Jimbo. Yes, he does. He wants to join. We'll get to Jimbo soon though. We'll, we'll have him do a surprise visit soon. Um, okay, so next up, I'm gonna add the orange. We're gonna get switched into orange here. So I'm gonna do a little slip knot, starting this first one right here, like that. Oh my gosh, Jimbo is howling. He does this thing, we call him, we call it yowling, because it sounds like he's going, yow, yow. And, uh, he has no reason to. He's just a big baby that wants attention. But I've given him so much attention today in preparation for this live stream because Jules is in San Francisco right now. So she's not here to help uh, mitigate his meowing. But I guess it didn't help very much. <laughs> he has chosen to be 
a noisy kitty regardless. How many stitches do you think... Okay, Echo Cat says, how many stitches do I think that I crochet on uh, a day on average? On average? So because I do mostly small projects that only take a couple of hundred stitches, I would say I probably on average make like four or five hundred single or stitches. I would say that's probably... I might be really undercutting it or over shooting it. I don't know. But I, I think that's a safe number to say is 500 stitches per day. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because there's some days where I just don't crochet at all. And then there's some days where I crochet a ridiculous amount. So yeah, it flip flops. Flippity floppities. After this round, I'm going to get uh, some yarn for a stitch marker, just so I don't lose track of where I'm going. But we're going to see how big we can make this thing. Jules is not going to go say, not going to say hi today. Uh, she is in San Francisco. Uh, I'm actually, actually, she's about to get on a plane in a few hours to uh, come back. So I have to go pick her up after this live stream from the airport. It should be pretty fun. I actually, the airport's not very far too, so it's kind of nice. There we go. Needed to charge my thing a little bit. All right. Almost to the end of this round. And then I can add my stitch marker. The rest of this pattern from here on is like way, way easy, by the way. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I need a little bit of yarn in a different color. Let's go with, uh, looks like we've got some of this weird orange thread that we can use. It's just like a slightly different colored orange. So we'll just, I'll just use that for right now. And when I get to the size that I need, um, we'll we'll have a little jimbo break. I need to get to uh, it to be I think like forty something stitches around. Yeah, forty two stitches around is where I need to get to. Um, but once we get there, I'll I'll come, I'll let Jimbo say hi. We'll allow it. When I got Jimbo originally. Um, uh, I really wanted cat. I had been working from home for a long time. Uh, this is from the, before the pandemic, so probably like 2017, maybe. Um, 2016, I started a job where I worked from home as like a motion graphics animator, and uh, I was home all the time, all by myself, all the time, and it was, you know, getting a little sad. So. I finally got a cat, and when I went to go get go to the cat uh, store, no, I, I adopted him. So when I went to the adoption agency, uh, I went in going, okay, the two things I don't want in a cat. One, I do not want this cat to be too fluffy because I don't want it to, its fur in all of my yarn. And two, I do not want a really noisy, playful cat because it's going to be hard. They're going to want to play with the yarn all the time. They're going, going to want to like interrupt videos all the time. And then I met Jimbo and he was both of those things, but I loved him so much. Immediately. We were best friends. He's the best thing in the world. And I couldn't, I couldn't say no. Honestly, I saw him and within like five seconds of meeting Jimbo, I was like this cat, I want this cat. We're going home with this cat. And honestly, if I didn't go home with Jimbo there, someone else would have. He's the he's the best cat in the world. He's the best cat in the world. Fight me. <laughs> don't. Don't. I'm not good at fighting. Please don't fight me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so a couple more rounds of increasing, and then we'll be at the size we need. Very 
Very chill music. Very chill background music. Ain't that just the way. Favorite Halloween TV shows or movies to watch? Go. Let me know. What is your favorite Halloween movie or TV show? The reason I say TV show is because my favorite thing to watch during October is Over the Garden Wall, which is actually a mini series. Uh, it's on Hulu. It's from Cartoon Network. And it's just very, it's just perfect. It's the perfect video series. It's every episode's about 11 minutes long. So it's a really, really short video series. It, I think you can watch the entire thing in like an hour and a half or something. Um, and it's just wonderful. It's just got the best vibe in the world. It's got a super solid ending, uh, very well animated. There's really fun songs in it. It is not really made. It's not made for kids. It's not not made for kids, but it is, um, it's really good. H highly suggested. Seriously, go check it out. You will not be disappointed. I promise. Um, yeah, that is my favorite October thing to watch, but what's yours? What do what what do you guys like watching? Nightmare Before Christmas, hands down, says Chirp a little. Good choice. Good choice. You know what's great about that movie is they did it all stop motion, obviously. And I'm a really, really big fan of stop motion animation. Uh, I always have been ever since I was a kid. Uh, it's actually how uh, my my crochet YouTube career kind of started because I was really into doing stop motion animation with uh, yarn. I call them yarn animations. Uh, but what I really love about stop motion animation is that it doesn't really get old. So like Nightmare Before Christmas came out forever ago, so long ago, way, way before computer animation. I mean, not like way before computer animation, but it was it like computer animation wasn't very good at the time but it holds up completely fine you can watch nightmare before christmas and you're gonna be able to watch nightmare for, before christmas forever because it's just a bunch of real life pictures of toys or like items and it's got it's just super stylized and uh but not like it, it it'll never look it'll look maybe like a little bit a little bit like maybe uh, like the frame rate might not look great and it might look a little like noise the noise might be kind of high on the film itself but that just adds to the style and it won't ever it never looks cheesy to me it never looks like bad because it's not computer animated but every single year another computer animated movie from pa in the past looks looks outdated it just it's like automatic, you know, you watch Toy Story, watch Toy Story 1 and, and you'll see it and you'll be like, wow, this is like not bad, but also this is not good. <laughs> it looks weird. Like the, the human, the, the dude from it looks like super weird when you watch it now. Uh, in the past, yeah. But yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas, super solid. Super solid choice. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Another really solid choice. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good movie there. Another stop motion one, too. There's something about Halloween and stop motion, you know? Like Coraline, same kind of thing. It's got a Halloween vibe, but it's all stop motion. There's something about it that really is nice. What's the, it, there's another one, too. Um, Paranorman. Another, another Halloween. It, maybe there's, oh, and, and, uh, Corpse Bride. Look at that. So many Halloween-y movies that are all stop motion. I think like three of those are t are Tim Burton, to be fair, but still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is going to be the last round, I think, of increasing. We're going to be as big as we want our pumpkin to be. I'm not, I don't want to get a super big pumpkin. Obviously, I could keep increasing if I wanted to, um, but I think this is probably a pretty good size. Oh, Beetlejuice. What a wonderful movie. I love Beetlejuice. Also has a lot of stop motion, actually. Oh, Van Helsing with J Hugh Jackman is super cool. That is actually a really... That's a shockingly good movie. Oh, honestly, that, that was a good answer. Weird, weird answer, but it is actually really fun. Carissa, do we have a ghost pattern? We do. It looks like this. 
It's totally free. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash ghost. I have a left-handed video tutorial as well. Um, and it's very, very beginner friendly. Uh, you, it takes no sewing at all. It's just made from top to bottom. You know me. That's my favorite way to make amigurumi. Uh, but check it out. Clubcrochet.com slash ghost. It's actually also going to be next week's uh, crochet along. So if you want to join next week, uh, same time, same place, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on next Thursday, we're going to be making ghosts. Uh, and I'm going to customize them. We're going to have some fun customizing them. And it's going to be because we have a uh, club crochet challenge out right now. Where if you crochet a ghost and post a picture, you can um, you can win a free, I think it's a free club crochet kit. You get a gift card for a club crochet kit to the store um, uh, for like our favorite ghost does. So if you want to submit to that, uh, I'll, I put all the information at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, actually, um, Cooper, if you get a chance, can you put that in the chat there? Uh, but yeah, clubcrochet.com slash challenge, check it out. And clubcrochet.com slash ghost for the ghost pattern. Uh, highly suggested. It's a very, very good pattern. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, we're at the size we want to get. Let me grab our wild cat. Wild kitty coming in. Hot. Yes, you. Come on in. Come on. Come here. You're famous. People like you. People want to say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Oh, Jimbo break. Say hi. Where do you want to go? Why do you want in here if you just want to leave? You're such a weirdo. He just wants to play and get pets and hang out. Honestly, there's nothing better, I'm sure. Well, people want to see you. They don't just want to hear you. So cute. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Very sweet. Very kind. Oh, almost bit. Nope, nope. He really likes to lick and then decide he wants to bite your face. And it's not fun. No one likes being bit in the face. You're allowed to... What? Are you done? No, he's taking the yarn. Stop. Okay. I think that's good, buddy. That's a... Th yeah, what? Okay. We're in the middle of something. Uh, well, he doesn't care very much, does he? All right, we're going to switch back to the hands. Yes, we gotta keep crocheting. We got a pumpkin to crochet. Don't take the yarn. Don't take the yarn. Here, do you wanna go in the light box? There you go. Wow. Wow, Jimbo on the big screen. Nothing like it. Very licky. Okay. Okay, get out of the, okay. This was a mistake. Okay. Good job, buddy. You're amazing. Wow. <laughs> Noisiest dude ever. Ever. Yes. He, I kicked him out, but he's still meowing a bunch. It's just, yeah, it's just a Jimbo rampage right now. We need to take that Jimbo break at some point. All right, so I grabbed a pipe cleaner while I was over there, by the way, um, so I could put it in the stem. Uh, it doesn't really need to be that long, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it up right now and shove it right into the stem of this pumpkin. Takoyaki, goodbye. Pasta la pizza already. Thanks for joining. This cat is the best. Ellie, your cat looks so cute. Ellie's got a picture of their cat on as their thumbnail, and it is super duper cute. All right, so I'm just gonna, I think we're just gonna wind this back up it too. And yeah, we'll just do this again, this way. Looks pretty good. We'll just 
stuff this up there. There we go. Now our stem's got a pipe cleaner. Ooh, you can kind of start to see the pipe cleaner through it, so we gotta avoid that. But now we can bend our stem into different directions. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously the vine is like wrapping around the outside right now. I'll fix that later though. But for now, this is fine. Just keeps it out of, out of our way a little bit more. Okay. All right, so now we're at the part of our pattern where we do a lot of single crochets. We're gonna just keep single crocheting around until we like how long it is. So yeah, long, long uh, bit of just single crochets now for a while. So if you got anything you want to talk about, now's your chance. Let's all chill. Cats remember when they were gods. That is a statement. I agree though. Cats remember when they were gods. Everything's everything's about them. Everything's about damn. I've got fur all up in my mouth right now. There it is, Jimbo fur all over me, I can feel it. I call them Jimbo spores, cause they con they connect, to, like they collect together and turn into little balls. And I just think they're little baby Jimbos. I, you know how much I'd give? I would give, I would give maybe thousands of dollars. Yeah, I think I'd give thousands of dollars to see a baby Jimbo. Can you imagine how cute he was as a baby? Just a little ball of fluff. Oh my God. That, that he, oh, oh. Just thinking about how cute it was. It, it must've been so cute. I never got to see it though. It'd be so cute. Long pumpkin. Yeah, we can make this pretty long. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. Let's see, let's see how long I can go before I get sick of single crocheting this around and around and around and around and around. Also, I only have so much yarn, obviously, but yeah, we'll see how long we can go. You gotta love them cats, though. So I missed it. Did anybody say what they're making, uh, what they're going to be for Halloween? Anybody got any good Halloween costume ideas? Or how about this? What was your best Halloween costume ever? What was your best Halloween costume ever? Mine was probably, I had a, I've had a few good ones. When I was a kid, I had, I had crazy ideas for Halloween costumes that my parents would just help me make into a reality. So I think one of my favorite ones was I was a, uh, a, uh, what's it called? Like a, I was a clown, but I was, I was one of those clowns in like a, what's it? Like a ro a, a, a rodeo clown. That's what it is. I was a rodeo clown with a bucket around me. And my dad got this crazy cool, like, uh, uh, barrel that he made straps for so I could actually like wear it on my shoulders and it was just big enough so I could actually walk around and and then and I had a giant um cowboy hat on uh and you know just as like a clown and I duck into the into the barrel and wait for people to come by and then jump out and scare them it was great I must have been I think I was like eight eight or nine when, when I had that costume, but that was a really good costume. Really good costume. And then one time I was a, uh, what's it called? A tourist. Yeah, one time I was a tourist. I had a camera, uh, a Hawaiian t-shirt, a bunch of sunscreen on my nose, and a shark that my dad built so that I could wear it as a belt and have a shark that looked like it was biting my butt it was, it was really cool. It, I remember, yeah, I remember really liking it, but I remember being, having to stand in class because I couldn't sit down and I didn't know how to get it off. 
But yeah, that was a good one too. Zoe's go-to used to be Elvira, but I'd have to leave my costume behind when I moved to Canada. Also, my hair is very pink now. Who's Elvira? Is that from something? Let's look it up. We're going to look up who Elvira is. Elvira. Oh, from, uh, from the Munsters. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, that'd be a hard costume to wear uh, with really, really pink hair, huh? <laughs> Naughty Flowers is going to be a vampire with a handmade cape. Oh my gosh. How'd you make the cape? Is it is it like sewn on like a sewing machine or is it like all crocheted? How'd you make the cape? A couple years ago for Halloween, I was, I know I said I was a, uh, I, I did a, being a huge fan for like four years in a row, but I actually did have a different costume a few years ago because Jules and I went as like a couple's costume. We were um, peace and quiet and I was a mime, so I was quiet and she was a hippie, so she was peace. It was very cute. It was a cute one. And then uh, one year... Uh, Jules, me, and our friend Garrett did a uh, costume all together where we put on blue sheets with holes cut in the eyes and we were the Boo Man group and we'd go around and we like hit things and we wouldn't talk. It was really funny because you know the Blue Man group but Boo, you get it. Froggy is going as Scooby and Shaggy with their brother. That's cute. That's way cute. Dude, that's so cute. I actually just watched the old Scooby-Doo movie. Um, the first Scooby-Doo movie. Uh, like two nights ago. Jules hates Scooby-Doo. Not a Scooby-Doo fan. I, I mean, I don't dislike Scooby-Doo. Um, but I remember having fond memories of that movie. And so... While she's been away in San Francisco, I've been watching all these movies that I know she doesn't really like to rewatch. So I watched Scooby do like last night or two nights ago. And, uh, and I was crocheting the hummingbird for next month's kit. And it's just so, it's, it's, it is not, it's not very good. <laughs> it's not, I mean, I guess it's good for what it was, but it's also not good. <laughs> it's just very, very cheesy. And like, the story is like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's very, it's very silly. And the computer animation, like we were saying earlier, it's just not great. But uh, you know, I love, I love Scooby and Shaggy in that movie. That that is like the epitome of what I think of when I think Scooby and Shaggy is the one from that movie. Like, zoinks. By the way, quick shout out again. If you haven't yet, please uh, like this video down below. It's totally free and a great way to help support this channel. And if we get over 300 likes on this video, I'm going to do a giveaway next live stream. So, like this video, please. I also got to shout out uh, the hummingbird pattern. Uh, I, I added it right before this live stream. I added the hummingbird pattern as a rough draft on the website. So if you do have a Club Crochet membership, um, you have access to my rough draft patterns. Uh, those are basically my patterns where when I do my tutorials, I really like to put a lot of effort into like making them very highly produced. So I do you know, the interactive PDFs for them. I do really high quality photos and then the video tutorial. I do a left-handed video tutorial. There's a lot that goes into uh, when I finally publish a pattern on the website. But before then, I have to do like a prototype version of the patterns. And when I do that prototype version of the patterns, it's basically just the written version of the tutorial. 
and I really like to get as much feedback as I can on that. So for the hummingbird pattern for next month, I actually just added it on the website as a rough draft pattern. Um, this is what it looks like right here. Uh, again, if you want to get a Club Crochet Pro membership, you'll get this kit next month. But if you want to try this pattern out and give me your feedback on it, uh, you will need a membership level account to access it. But I have it on the website. I'll put a link in the, uh, actually Cooper already did. Cooper, thank you. Cooper put a link in the chat where you can go check out this pattern, uh, give it a shot and give me your feedback. Uh, I really would like some feedback on it. I, is the, I think this is the easiest bird that you can make um, because there's no bobble stitches or anything. It's all just made in one little piece. Uh, so yeah, I wanna make this as like the beginner burb kind of to get you interested into like what the burbs are and how to make them and stuff. So I really want feedback on the pattern to make it as easy as possible. So if you wanna give me feedback for this humming burb pattern, check it out. There's a link in the chat right now or you can find them by going to clubcrochet.com slash rough drafts. Uh, I think that'll take you there as well. Cool. We're, we're cruising. There's really not, not much to think about right now for this pattern. It's just single crochet, single crochet, single crochet again and again. I saw someone in the chat uh, mention they are, cur they just started crocheting with like super bulky yarn. Uh, I actually just got a bunch of balls of this super duper bulky yarn. I'll grab it in a second. Uh, I want to do a live stream soonish where we try crocheting some stuff uh, from the library with that super bulky yarn and see how it goes. The trick is the eyes. I need to get like either get really big plastic eyes or uh, just kind of like figure it out, you know, with maybe like we can needle felt the eyes or, or um, crochet eyes for it. But we'd have to, that's the only thing I've got to figure out. But it might be kind of fun to try to crochet some giant uh, amigurumi using this gigantic, enormous, chunky yarn. Ooh, Chirp a Little only uses velvety yarn recently. Yeah, I've seen that become really popular online using velvety yarn because it's also pretty chunky, right? Yeah. I trimmed this nail earlier. I've got this little hanging bit. Keeps getting stuck on my yarn. Very annoying. Lachlan, how are you? Hello, welcome to the welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. They say it's Friday. You're off to the post office again. Got a lot of shopping to do also. Well, enjoy that. What are you shopping for today? I gotta go do grocery shopping soon. Uh, and Jules and I's car is just about to break down. So we get to start shopping for a new car. Wow, so fun and exciting. Cars are notoriously really cheap right now. That is all sarcasm. It's very expensive and I'm super bummed about it. Because we're like, oh my God. We've been trying to save up for like a house. We're not even close to saving up for a house, but now we're like, oh man, <laughs> all of our savings for the house. Yeah, whatever. Bummer, but it happens. Marvel over. Welcome. Marvel lover. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is that Spider-Man in your background? Very cool. Welcome to the chat. You're new here. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Are you crocheting today? Or making anything? Or just hanging out and farting around. Do that too. Yeah, I gotta try that velvety yarn as well. It seems kind of fun to use. I just, I really like the idea of taking all my little tiny crochet patterns that take like no time at all and making them with big yarn to just make giant amigurumi super duper easy. I see so many people doing that with the Triceratops and the T-Rex and it just looks like such a good idea. Adulting is so fun. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Uh, okay, Lachlan? Is it Lachlan? How do I say your name? So I don't keep messing it up. I'm going to guess it's Lachlan. Because since Latchlan is clearly not right. But, you know, CH means ch. <laughs> Marvel lover, you are just coming and hanging out. Very cool. You got a sw Wait, what was that? You just finished a sweater. Well, yeah, take a break. Take a break. Finishing a sweater is a huge deal for crochet. I've never made one personally, but Jules makes a lot of hand-knit sweaters. And they take forever. And I'm always like, when she finishes, I'm like, wow, you did it. Good job. I do not have that kind of patience. Or if I, I just, I haven't experimented with that kind of patience yet. Which is kind of crazy. I've been crocheting for so long and I just haven't, I just don't like crocheting projects that take forever. I've made like half of a blanket one time. We're running a slightly low on yarn, but the good thing is I have more yarn too. So I thought, you know, I just used like the end of a ball for this project. I was like, oh, you know what? I have like, ha I think I have like a quarter of a ball of yarn here. So it's not as much as I put in the kits. So I don't know how long we're gonna be able to go. But I have, I have extra, so if I need to add more to that, that's not a problem. Oh, you, wow, Sarah. Sarah likes to hand wash their dishes. Sarah said that they really like, you've discovered that you like to hand wash dishes. It's very soothing. You are a unique person because that is one of my least favorite uh, chores to ever do. I hate hand washing dishes. I'm so bad at it. It's, well, I guess I'm not bad at it. Like how do you get that bad at it? But I just don't like to do it. Uh, and a dishwasher totally saved, totally saved me for that. Actually, me and my fiance both hate hand washing dishes. It's like the worst thing ever. So when she first moved in, we did not have a dishwasher and it became like a problem. The fact that neither one of us ever wanted to do the dishes was a huge problem. So then we bought a little, um, uh, a little tiny dishwasher. Oh my God. It like saved us. And now we have a gigantic dishwasher and it's awesome. I love dishwashers, they're the best. Erica, hello, how are you today? Hope you're having a great day. What What are you up to? What you doing? We're crocheting some Big old pumpkin. Oh yes, one of those soap dispenser st uh, sponges. I totally know that. You know what Halloween movie? I'm I'm flip flopping right now. You know what Halloween movie I don't really like, but I'm starting to come around to it is Hocus Pocus. I never liked that movie. Uh, it creeped me out as a kid, and as an adult, I just think it's kind of like, I, I used to think it was like kind of weird. Now I'm kind of starting to like it again, because it's so campy. Um, I didn't hate the second movie. It wasn't that great, but uh, the one that just came out this year. But it's okay. It's not that bad. There's another one. Oh, I, a Halloween show that I'm really like that I've been watching a lot. It's not really a Halloween show. It's kind of a whenever show. It's called uh, What We Do in the Shadows. It is a show about um, vampires. There's actually a movie too called What We Do in the Shadows. Same exact uh, creator. Uh, and then he made a TV show afterwards. Check out the movie. It's very good. Super great for Halloween. Very funny and silly. Uh, and yeah, just a great, great movie. Great show. Highly suggested. Not, not how are you? Note? I think it's note? Maybe? Harvey Price, hello. Wow, we got a bunch of newbies showing up. Hello, everybody. Hi, Froggy. How are you? 
What are you guys up to today? You guys crocheting? Making anything fun? Let us know. Let 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 me and the chat know. What are you up to? What you what you crocheting? This pumpkin is getting big. We're getting we're getting honky with like look at this. It's a honker. We're gonna go this big. I think I think we can get to like that big with this pumpkin. I'm looking for enough enough uh, space so that we can really do a nice jack-o'-lantern look to it. <laughs> Froggy, you got a fellow frog bud in the chat. Johnny, you gotta go. Well, thank you so much for joining, Johnny. And again, I'm so sorry I have never gotten back to you about that skull stuff. I feel really bad. Uh, I'm really sorry. That's, that's, yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Erica is crocheting cardigans for their kids. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. You've almost finished one. I just need to block and add buttons. You're starting the second one. I really want to get a cardigan pattern on the website next uh, next year, actually. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, totally share a picture. Um, as Sarah said, share a picture of what you're making. We have a Discord channel uh, and a section in the Discord channel called Look What I Made. Uh, it's a great place for sharing, like, just stuff that you made and I'm sure that people want to see how that looks because that sounds really cool I've always wanted to crochet a cardigan I was really into wearing cardigans when I was in high school uh, and I and I wanted to crochet one then but I just know the reality of the situation is that I am really bad at long form projects I really like doing small projects that I can do in just like a couple of hours. All right, how long have I gone here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So 12 is what is in the pattern. I think I can go to 15 though. Let's try that. Ooh, 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 okay, ready, ready? I'm sorry for the people that don't like this, but I am about to crack my neck. It's here, because I, I can feel it's good. Go on, ready? Oh, just the one? Wow. Just the one, that's crazy. Usually I go and then it's like, uh oh, did I just, am I paralyzed? <laughs> but I'm not. Ooh, Steph. Hello, Steph. Steph says, hey, I've been following the channel for a while, but this is first live stream and love it. Put in the calendar so I didn't miss it. Oh, thank you so much for joining. Okay, Steph, I have a really, a, a big question about that. So you said you put it in the calendar so you didn't miss it. How did you hear about the live stream? Did you hear about it on, <laughs> did you hear about it uh, via email or did you f hear about it via, like, did, was it because of the YouTube channel? Like, when did you add it to your calendar? I just wanna know because I wanna know how early in advance I should let people know about live streams. Um, I started doing a thing in the, uh, on the email where I notify you about these live streams. I started doing a thing where I'll let you know where what the next three live streams planned are. It's a great way for me to like plan my life a little bit future. Oh, we got a fly in here. I hate it. Did you see it? Can you see it on screen? Oh, I looked away for a second, now it's gone. There it is. You're gonna die, boy. Where you at? Mm. Oh. I hate flies in this room because it's a very dark room and the second it gets out of the light, I'm like, it's gone. It's gone. Email, okay, see, that's super good to know. Super duper good to know. <laughs> Harvey, Harvey, chill, chill my dude. Okay, Harvey, you're on, sorry dude, I gotta put you in timeout. Uh, no, I don't though. <laughs> Harvey. Now, if you want to learn to crochet, I got, you can join the membership to learn to crochet. But, no, I don't. <laughs> You're the first person to ask that though. All right. <laughs> you know, no shame. You're into what you're into. That's fine. 
But yeah, this isn't really the place for that, Harvey. Free account. I was look. Oh, dude, Steph, thank you so much for for informing me. Thank you so much for letting me know about all that, by the way, Steph. I really, I really appreciate that because I, I need to know that kind of information on how to let people know about these live streams, how they should be going in the future. So, yeah, thank you for that. Okay, I just saw your message, Johnny. Yeah, I just saw I just saw your message uh, above. Um, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you feedback ASAP. I'm so sorry I haven't gotten you feedback yet. Uh, Sandal soup, you're totally right. You're totally right. That's a confu you know that's confusing. That's a confusing message there. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, look at the chat. Yeah, I bet it. Yeah, because it doesn't get hidden there, huh? Oh my god. Is my face like really red too? <laughs> Harvey, chill, my dude. <laughs> yeah, no, no spamming the messages. The Amaze Feed. Oh my god. The Amaze Feed says that they're thinking about becoming a pro member, but I don't know. You totally should. Great. Not only is it a super great way to support this channel, which uh, would be really nice. Uh, we are we could really use support. So yeah, if you're interested in supporting the channel, that's a great way to support it. And it's also just really cool. You get like a kit every month, and I try to make them fun each month. Um, next year, I kind of want to start doing more like um, I, I want to do. Well, okay. So I'm planning my next year out a little bit more. Uh, on what kits we're gonna do each each month, and I really like this new system we have where you can choose your kit. So like every month we've been doing a thing where you can choose which kit you want. Uh, next month his choices are between the hummingbird and the in the um, the turkey. Next year I'm gonna try doing two completely different patterns for the choices. So we're gonna do like a, you know, you can choose the beginner one. Oh, we're running out of yarn. We got to start closing it in now. But you know what? That is pretty big for a pumpkin, so I think that'll work. You know, this this is enough space I think to make our jack lantern. So we got to start closing it after that. Um. But next year I want to start doing some more like home crochet patterns. So things like I really want to do a crocheted clock. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, doing more hats and beanies, and doing some like maybe some pillowcase stuff, stuff like that. Uh, I will have a. And then you'll also still be able to choose. So there will always be an amigurumi option, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, that's kind of the plan. I thought it'd be kind of a fun a fun way to like kind of start to switch up what the pro kits are a little bit, give people options on what they could crochet instead of always making amigurumi because I know that like that's not everybody's. That's not how everybody's into, you know, amigurumi, but a lot of people are. I mean, I am, and I don't want to stop making it. I just want to start branching out, try other things every now and then. Uh, but I'm curious of what you guys think about that. Oh, okay, cool. Christine, super dupe. Thank you so much for that feedback. Um, that is really good to know. Yeah, I've been really trying to plan those emails out a little bit more uh, and like share when I've been doing my email notifications for these live streams, I've also been using them as opportunities to share like new stuff I've added to the website. So like today I shared, uh, there's a brand new volcano pattern that I just finished that's on the site. And I was sharing like, you can choose your kit for next month, stuff like that. So I really, really like, uh, I thank you so much for the feedback. And I, and I like the new system that I've been doing. Um, it's just been a lot easier for me and it's good to know that it's, it's you know, worth it. Because it does take, obviously, a lot more time to write those whole emails. But, you know, it's totally worth it. Ooh, a cat couch. Oh, yeah, that'd be so cool, dude. Oh, my God, Naughty Flower, I love that idea. I love that. Oh, 
Ginger Cake, thank you so much. Ginger Cake says this is the first live stream they made. I just want to know. I just want you to just want to say that I've been enjoying this comfy stream today. So thanks. You are super welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be crocheting like this anyhow, and it's fun to actually crochet with people, especially since this week I've been home alone all week, except for my cats, obviously. But it's definitely been like, I don't know. <laughs> It's nice to talk to people. It's nice to talk to people. Oh my gosh, wow, thank you so much. Someone someone tipped for, I think that's a thousand yen? I think that's right. Yen? I think that, yeah, right? That's a yen. Arigatou gozaimasu! For your support, let me put something out for you. I think I might be out of pumpkins. But you know what? I got... something Halloween-y and orange to put out. So we'll put this out for you. To say thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I currently can't re read kanji very well. I can read some kanji, but I can't really read yours. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. But thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna put this little ghost out for you. Um, this is a ghost from that I made a long, long time ago. I did a stop motion animation of from uh, Luigi's Mansion. And uh, this is one of the ghosts from the original Luigi's Mansion that I made. And he's got little wires on the arm so he can like wave and stuff. Anyhow, I'm gonna put this out for you. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll keep the orange, orange vibe going there. Ooh. Do I do Instagram live? We can always try to keep you company. Oh, you know what? I should do more Instagram live streams. Um, I actually thought last night it was like, honestly, it was like 1130 at night. And I, I stay up till like 3 or 4 a.m. I'm just a night owl. Uh, that's why my live streams start so late. It's because I really like staying up late uh, and doing work really late at night. And so, uh, yeah, last uh, last night at like 11.30, I was like, you know what? I'm going to crochet a Bonimal right now because I just wanted to crochet a Bonimal. I was like, maybe I should do this on an Instagram live. But then I was like, you know what? It's so late. I shouldn't do that. But it's good to know that... That is an option. Maybe I should, maybe I should do that in the future. My yarn is getting super crazy fuzzy right here because Jimbo was playing with it. Uh, I noticed when I was winding it before the stream that I was like, whoa, it gets really fuzzy at the end. I wonder why. And it's because Jimbo, I think, was playing with it. Oh, whoops. The link on the email took you to a video published a year ago. That was an accident. What was the video? Wait, what? Really? What link? What link took you there? Was it the... Was, what? How did, how did I mess that up? <laughs> I, I am very, very curious of how that happened. That is... That's super interesting. Oh, what? Okay, so... Clayton! Okay, so Clayton, first off, hi, welcome to the chat. I really appreciate you joining. Um, Clayton says that they quit crocheting after the person who motivated them left, but this helps. Um, I'm hoping to run my first community fundraiser soon. Clayton, thank you so much for joining. I'm so sorry that happened to you, but don't let, cro don't let that stop you. When I first started crocheting, uh, it was because I had a, um, a, I mean, this wasn't like the only reason, but a huge reason why when I started crocheting was because I had actually a crush on someone and I wanted to give them little gifts that I made. And then 
you know, we started dating. I, it turned out the relationship was not for me. It actually was not a great relationship at all. We dated way too long. But when we broke up, uh, uh, I thought about that too. I was like, well, you know, like I kind of started crocheting here, but I, I thought instead, I was like, you know what? I got crocheting out of this still. And now it's my favorite thing to do in the world. So don't let someone else's, someone else like uh, uh, change the things that you really like or don't like. Uh, don't don't let those be an eff uh, affect your crochet. I, I hope you still crochet because it's not fair and crochet is awesome. You totally should crochet all the time. See you later, Abby. Thank you so much for joining. And happy Halloween. All right. Okay, so we only have a few more rounds left to go uh, for our actual crochet part of the pumpkin. And then we can uh, start messing around with adding faces and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and stuff it a little bit. Amaz uh, the Amaze Feed asks, I have a question. When you upgrade your membership, do you have to pay again or do you... Uh, or does it, yeah, you don't have to pay again. The answer is you don't have to pay again. It should automatically um, stop your payments and uh, and give you um, like the new membership level. Uh, if you do have any problems with that, we are always happy to help out. So just email us. Um, we You can find our contact information on the website. Uh, but yeah, if you ever get charged twice for anything or, or anything like that, um, we're obviously more than happy to give refunds. That That is not the way it's supposed to work so yeah if, if you ever come to a point where you're like hey this is this feels like not the way it's supposed to work it probably isn't and you should probably reach out and we'd be happy to help um yeah you can always cancel your memberships at any time too by the way so if you decide that you want to get a club crochet membership yeah you can always cancel it whenever you want cleo how are you doing cleo Okay, so we got just a couple more rounds here of the actual pumpkin part, and then uh, we will give it its shaping, and then we can start to experiment with faces, and maybe a hat. I mean, if we have a bunch of extra time, I need to get, I need to stop around six because I need to go pick up Jules from the airport, um, and she lands around like eight and it's about an hour away and i just need to get ready and clean the house before she sees it <laughs> so i'm gonna stop around six um but that should give us enough time to finish our pumpkin add a face and maybe maybe make a hat for it we'll see we will we will see hey again if you haven't yet please like this video uh subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh yeah it's a great way to support this channel Whoa, it took you to the elf on the shelf and Wow. That is, yeah, that's definitely the wrong link. Uh, my bad. I'm really, really sorry about that. I will, um, in the future, I'll try to make sure that all the links work. I'll test them all out a lot uh, more before I send out an email. But I'm really sorry about that, Cleo. That uh, is definitely not on purpose. Uh, what time is it for me? Yeah, like uh, Cooper said, it is currently 4.30ish. Yeah, we're in the Pacific Standard Time. I'm in like, I'm in California right now, uh, just north of LA. Um, yeah, I, I was living in San Francisco for a long time, but we actually just moved in August. So I am new to this area, but it's the same time zone, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, Naughty Flowers, thank you so much for joining. And yes, they translated some patterns. That's right. Uh, thank you so much for that. I've been meaning to like get those updated on the website. Thank you so, so much. Naughty Flowers uh, helps translate some patterns into Spanish for us. So yeah, big shout out. If you uh, are a Spanish speaker, um, we do have some tutorials on our website from Naughty Flowers that have been translated. And we've been trying to do that, update that more, um, but it's hard to do so yeah like uh if you yeah the well it should be more apparent and more there should be a lot more uh uh 
patterns in Spanish in the in the very few near future on the website. I just haven't been able to I guess update them right and we're currently reworking how the website works so there's just a lot there's a lot going on right now I think this is about as much stuffing as I want I don't think I want to stuff it too much more because we don't want the stuffing to be seen through the pattern but we'll see Erica it is 635 there oh okay cool how much longer will this go for? At least uh, probably an hour and a half. Um, an hour at least though, because we just gotta add the face and stuff. I think we'll try to probably do a classic uh, jack-o'-lantern look for the face instead of doing anything like too weird. I just think it'd be probably a good move to just make it really classic, really a simple one because I don't even know if it's gonna work. It might totally mess up our pumpkin but we are gonna find out together. I might do like one eye bigger than the other. I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll, we'll, we'll try a few different options out. I'm having a hard time with that last stitch though. I think this is the last stitch. Yes. All right, guys. We're done with the crocheting portion. We actually don't need our crochet hook anymore. So we'll throw that to the side. Let's stuff our pumpkin up a little bit more. So it closed and then add all the um, shaping effects to it. And then we can start messing with a uh, some needle felting and we'll see how that goes. I think it's gonna work out. I really hope it does. I really, I really hope it does. I think this will be enough stuffing. Let's see. We might need to add a little bit more. Let's see. Oh boy. There we go. Oh yeah, we need more. Let's fill the rest of it with all, all this stuffing and see if that is enough. Uh, if not, I'll go have to grab some more stuffing because I'm actually out of stuffing here. You do want it to be somewhat like not overstuffed because when we squish it down like this yeah it's still that's not enough stuffing we need just a little bit more let's see do i have any in here no no i'm gonna go grab more stuffing it's right here so i'll be just i'm over here there we go we got a little bit more Needle felting is very fun. See, I haven't really experimented too much with needle felting other than just like simple needle felting, uh, especially using regular felt. I've never needle felted with like just felt. I've always used like, like wool. Like it's like a, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I really think it's going to work though. I, I believe in us. I believe in us. Let's go find out. Okay. That's that's enough stuffing. Oh, we got to make this better too. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with this. I'm gonna let's twirl our our vine up so that it's curly. Oh yoff. That's great. Look how long that curly. That's great. And then we'll. I think we should just keep it like that. It just looks so good when you do like that. Looks like he's got little curly hair. That'll be kind of cute. Actually, let's do that in the front. Let's do this curl so that's right in the front. So it looks like he's got this like little cute curl. That'd be pretty cute. And we'll do like just simple pumpkin face. Is it cold in California yet? I mean, it's like kind of cold. It switches every other day pretty much. Some days it's like, oh my God, it's so hot out. And then other days it's like, eh, it's getting kind of cold. The coldest it gets though is like, maybe 60 degrees it does not get very cold here um in san francisco it does but actually not in october o september october and november in san francisco are uh what we call our san francisco summers they actually get really the hottest times in the year are during uh uh the fall in in san francisco and I gotta say, I do miss that. It is really nice because the beaches are perfect. 
And I used to live like right outside the beach, so it was really nice. All right, so we Sona closed. It's pretty good. Now let's give it its shaping. How much more of this? Oh, wow, we barely have any. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we seriously have. This is how much yarn we have left for this orange. It's just, it's like the perfect amount. This is exactly how much we need. This is great. The yarn gods have smiled upon us this day. The yarn gods have smiled upon us this day. All right. Start here, come out here. This part's really fun and easy to do, which is cool. We're gonna go up, in, out. Go down, go in and come over right here. A little tighter. Give our boy some shapes. We don't want to over shape it though, especially because we're going to be adding the face. So I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to let it be a little bit less like pulled in. Like see how much of this one's pulled in. So we're going to be needle felting on it. I don't want there to be too many like um, divisions so that just in case we need to add over a division, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to try to not let it be too squished in as we go, but we'll see. All right, so this goes straight down. Out right over. So we need one right here. See how that goes. Pretty good. There's a couple more. I'm gonna come up this way. And out right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Come right down like that. And this will be the last division. This and out here. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, see how it's like kind of not as pulled in as a normal pumpkins, but you know what? I kind of like that. We can also just give more visions it's pretty good though yeah I think that works and we'll do the curly cue is gonna go right here and then we'll do the face right here which means we probably actually want a little bit more over on this part like that it's pretty good though all right let's double knot it Oh yes, sure. Uh, the hook that I'm using is a size G four millimeter crochet hook. It's what I really like using for uh, worsted weight yarn. Um, sorry, I didn't see that, Melissa. I was deep in the pumpkin world. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. That's my favorite size hook to use for worsted weight yarn. So that's what we're using today. That's really what I all like pretty much always use. All right. Just kind of tweaking the stuff a bit. All right, I think that's pretty good for the pumpkin itself. Let's fix this curly cue a little bit more. And let's make this go, we'll make it turning this way. And we might give our little fella a hat too, but the next thing we want to do is add our cute little face here. And he is looking pretty cute. They are looking pretty cute. We don't know. We don't know yet. All right. Let's see how this works, you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to cut just a little square of this black felt. 
just to get us started. Get us something to work with. I kind of, I really wish I added this in the kits. And I'm sorry for people that got the kits that are like seeing this now and going like, that would be really cool. I didn't think about it until after the kits were made and I'm really sorry about that. Normally I would do things like that though. Um, okay, so first we need to make our eyes. Let's just make one. Uh, let's start with like, we only need it to be pretty small. And this will be our good test too to see if this even works. That's pretty good for the eye size. And I'm, I like to, I, let's make our pumpkin like have a very, like a, not obtuse, but just like. Okay, how does this look? Mm. I think we need more angled right here. Maybe like that. And I'm actually gonna kind of round the edges too a little bit. Just on the bottoms. I think it'll make them look nicer. Eh, yeah, let's do the top part too. Okay, that's a pretty good triangle. Yeah, like that. Oh, look at that, that'll be very cute. One. We'll do one, actually we'll do it like here. We'll do one here, we'll do one over here, and then we'll do our simple mouth. I'm not gonna do a nose, I'm gonna keep it like this. Just eyes and a mouth. I think that's my favorite way to do pumpkins. If you've seen my patterns before, you know that I don't really do, um, I don't make noses that often. It's kinda like, I guess it's just like a style thing. All right, so I'm just gonna duplicate this eye, and let's see how. Once we get our second eye made, we can actually test this system out and see how it works. Left craft, let's craft with Elena. Hello, you are not late. Don't worry about it. I mean, we have already crocheted the whole pumpkin part, but we're adding the face now. And I think we're gonna have time for a hat as well. Maybe, probably. Hats don't take that long. But we'll see. So right now I'm cutting out the felt, by the way, for our needle felted face. These look about the same. Let's place them where they would be. So if we want the curl there, we'll go eye, eye, and then a big mouth under it, which will be over this crack. That's pretty good. And then eye. Should we cut the mouth out first? You know what, let's cut the mouth out first. Just because, you know, like I don't, I, I wanna see it all. I wanna see it before we get started here. So for the mouth, we'll cut a big rectangle out and work around that. That's pretty good, okay. So, for the mouth, we wanna do, you know, obviously we want a bit of a smile. You know what, what if we just fold it in half like this and then cut it out, like our basic shape out when it's folded in half so that both sides are the same. That's pretty smart. Smarter, not harder. There we go. And then we'll go a soft corner like we have on our teeth. And we'll go down. And let's see how this looks. It's pretty big. It's a, that is a what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's what our guy looks like right now. Uh, yeah, let's make this shorter. So I think we need to cut it down to about, maybe about that long. Yeah, that's pretty good.
let's see how this one looks. We'll go like this. And then we got, so there's the mouth, pretty big. And then we got eye and an eye over there. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good for the size of the mouth. Now let's add some teeth in there. So I'm gonna start by doing tooth like this. So there's one tooth. And we'll do just a tooth in the middle maybe. on that second tooth. Nice and nice and classic. Classic pumpkin. That's what we're going for. Like that maybe. And then we'll do another tooth, one more tooth right here. Our station's getting very fuzzy. I will not be surprised if I start sneezing in a sec. There we go. All right, let's see how this face looks. Keep our curl off to the side a little bit. We'll go mouth there, like that. Eye, we'll go one eye here, just a little farther away than where the edge of the mouth is. And we'll do another one right here. All right, I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of weird that it, you know what, maybe we do it in the center like this. And then we do I and I. Yeah. Maybe we do want the eyes a little closer like that. Like that maybe. It's a little too close. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's start by need trying to needle felt just the eye on. So we're gonna start with one eye right there. Okay. So we got our fancy needle here for this. And all I wanna do is try to make it so that this is connected to the amigurumi itself and I don't have to glue on or anything like that. That's the goal here, guys. So I'm gonna take this needle and we're just gonna, whoo, I'm, I'm nervous. We're just gonna start to not accidentally stab our finger and needle felt, especially on the sides of it. And then we'll get the center. I think this is gonna work though. Basically what we're doing is every time we poke it in here, it's like taking the fibers and it's like attaching the fibers onto the yarn fibers. And it's just like, it just attaches it to it. Obviously it would come off if it was like, I think if we threw it in like the dryer, maybe it would come off, but I think it'll hold pretty well. I think this is gonna work. Look at that, it is on there. Yeah, I, it's like pretty solidly on there too. Let's, I'm gonna needle felt the center of it too so that it's just all the way on. And do a little bit more on all the corners. I definitely need to do a tutorial video for this. But yeah, we'll just get all of it needle felted on. That's pretty good though. Yeah, I can't get it off. Great. Awesome. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
That was like really easy too. I, it's insane. It's so easy. Okay. Next, the mouth. Well, actually next is we're gonna do the second eye. We'll just start, I just wanna get the mouth like where it's gonna be so that I can tell where the other eye is gonna be. That's pretty good though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on this. But I think another eye right there. Yeah. That's pretty good. Great. This time I'm gonna try doing just the corners first. No, actually, no, that's not working as well. Just going all the way around seems like it's the best move. Looks pretty good though. This is a good system. Hey, Leaf Sauce, welcome to the chat. Yeah, it's just such an easy way to add detail to your amigurumi without actually having to like sew stuff together. Now I wouldn't overuse this system because A, I think that it's not the most secure way to add detail onto your amigurumi. So if you're giving this to like a kid that's gonna like put this in their mouth and stuff, you know, you probably wanna be a little bit more, have something a little bit more secure like adding safety eyes or, or actually sewing eyes on. But this is a great system for quickly adding detail to your piece for sure. All right, this one looks pretty good on there too. All right, we got our eyes on. It's pretty good. And finally, our mouth. Now our mouth is obviously gonna be the trickiest part because it's gonna be hard to keep it exactly where we want it to be. So I guess what we could try doing is use a pin to do like, that's where we want the mouth, the corner, like that. And that's where we want the other corner. And we'll just hold it close and we'll just work our way over from right to left. I think that's a good system. This might take a sec. Because the mouth is gonna be the hardest thing to keep secured on there because it's got so many corners. But actually it's working pretty well. All right, so we got this corner on pretty well. I'm obviously, I'm gonna go over everything again once I have it in place, but it's a good start. I actually want that a little straighter. Keep going.
fun. We're just like stabbing something over and over. Great anger management tool right here, guys. Pretty good though. Right here's a little weird. Oh yeah, it is pretty secure. Oh, that was scary. Don't drop your needle. I'm gonna almost stab my hand. This needle's like crazy sharp too. start with this corner. <laughs> I do wish the edge of this needle was closer to the handle a little bit because it's like so far away that it, I just I can't get as detailed on like where I want to stab it as I want to but honestly like that's not really a big deal so it's whatever all right now let's just make sure it's secure By getting all the edges in because the edges is where it's gonna lose its umph you know that's where if we end up peeling it off like a sticker it's gonna start from the edges not from the center so obviously we want to make sure all of it is connected but we really want to make sure that the edges are connected eye a little bit too. All right, guys, this looks pretty great. Just really making sure all of it's on there now. I'm gonna go over the eyes again too in a second. What do we think, guys? I mean, for a first attempt, that's not bad at all. I mean, we could add a little tiny nose, but I don't think we need to. <laughs> I think this looks super duper cool, especially with the curl right here in the front. And then we'll do this. Well, maybe we'll do it like... No. Maybe like over like this, and then like this. Like a question mark. Kinda. Hey. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm just getting all these little fuzzies out of the way now. Okay guys, that is so cool. 
Tell me that's not awesome. Tell me that's not cool as heck. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So easy too, that was easy. Maybe a teeny triangle nose. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It's not gonna hurt to uh, to get it and look at it, but I, I like the I like the idea leaf sauce. So let's see what a little tiny triangle nose would look like. I'm thinking small too, like this tiny. That might be too tiny, but let's see. How do we feel about the note? Adding that. I don't think I, I don't know about that, guys. I don't know. Let's ask. Let's let's uh, let's do a poll. What do you guys think about adding a nose? We're gonna do a poll real quick. Should we add a nose? All right. Nose question. There you go. Uh, we will consider that. And we need to add maybe a hat. So we can do, I mean, it doesn't really need a hat, but we could do witch hat, top hat. What other hats are there? There's a, I actually have, I have this. We actually could just, honestly, we don't even need to crochet it. We could actually just add this on there. Or we can make a little tiny witch hat. That'd be pretty cute. I don't like this hat on there. The scarecrow hat's kind of weird. But a little tiny hat right there would be kind of cute. Nose or no nose? I, I'm, I'm personally inclined to no nose, but nose, it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna make it just a little bit like this. Ooh, cat ears. That's an interesting idea, Sarah. That's unique. Okay, cat ears, witch hat, or top hat, or any other ideas? Oh, upside down nose like that. Actually, that's not bad too. I think I like it upright. Well, if it was a cat though, we would do it that way and then whiskers. But, ah. I think I like it upright. I think I like it upright. Okay, how many people have voted? 22, that's it. Okay, keep voting, keep voting. I'll let it get to 30 and then we'll choose. Looks like yes is taking it though. Bat wings. Upside down nose. I think I like it upright though. I also don't know how well that's gonna stay on there. Should be fine though. These aren't really coming off. I'm gonna try to actually felt it on just a little bit more. My mom's gonna love this, by the way. I don't know how many other people make things and give them to your mom, but I do. And uh, yeah, my mom gets obsessed with things that I make, which is great. All right, two more votes for the nose, and then I'm gonna ask about the hat. Oh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Two more votes won't get to change the vote anyhow. So, we're going with yes to the nose. What else to add? Cat ears, a witch hat, top hat, bat wing. I like the bat wings idea, too. All right, I'm gonna needle felt this nose on. Uh, let me know which, what else you think we should add. I'm kind of inclined for witch hat, uh, personally, but you let me know what you think would be good. And I'll, I'll very gently and delicately get this nose needle felted on. I'm going upright with the nose, though. 
I don't want to do it upside down. I, I just, I like it more this way. Like that. This definitely is going to be the first thing to go if it falls off. But I think it'll be fine, honestly. I'm not too stressed about it. Kind of lost his definition a little bit. Eh, it looks good. I'll do a little bit more. A little bit more on the eyes too. Especially on the edges of the eyes. Good addition. Yeah, Indecisive Louie returns. I know, I'm so indecisive. When it comes to the detail stuff, I, I don't even know how I finish anything sometimes. I'm just so, I can be so indecisive. This is pretty good though. Look at that, you can hold it like that. It's so cute. All right, what are people voting on here? A lot of people saying cat ears. I'm definitely leaning witch hat, but that's all good. You can make separate pumpkins with cat faces, bat fangs. Yep, totally. Oh, Robin, that's cute. What a great, what a great choice for your daughter. All right, if we did cat ears, I'm definitely gonna sew them on. Like do a crocheted cat ears. Should we do them orange? Or should we do them a different color? If we do them orange, you know, they look like they're part of this and then I can do a different shade of orange on the inside of the ear to give it like a, um, Something like that. Because I think orange ears would be smart. And then like the, you know, you know what I'm saying? This be for the ear part itself. And then the inside of the ear will do like, we'll do like this or something. Just like a slightly different shade. Uh, you can barely tell that's different. I love it like this though. I don't even know if I want to add a hat. I might add ears and just pin them on. Oh yeah, they could be green like the this part. It's not bad either. Hmm. Hmm. This is our last thing though. Looks like cat ears is winning. Okay. Let's start, let's try crocheting cat ears with this yarn. Do I have any more of this that's not in a beautiful little cute ball of this? I don't want to look at how cute this ball of yarn is. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Let me see if I have any other. I think I have some more over here. I do. Can you hear Jimbo? Can you hear Jimbo? He just keeps meowing. It's very cute. Oh, li Zoe. Leaf ears. Great idea. We forgot the leaf in general, <laughs> but yeah, this is a good fix. This is a good, this is, this is a good idea. I like it. 
Uh, yeah, we'll try leaf ears. Let's see what we can do here. I've got a pretty easy idea for this. Let's see, one, two. We want it pretty small, like that. And then we'll go, yeah, okay. Four, five, let's do six. And we'll go, Half double. Now you know what double. We'll do double crochet first. Double crochet in that back loop. Two and a half double. Single I might need to do these again, let's see. I think they should have been triple in the very start. But they might be fine. Single, half double, and finally, right here, we double. Yeah, they, I think these are gonna be too big, but we got an idea how this is gonna work. Actually, that's not bad, like that. It's a cute little leaf. Like this. Like that, and then we just put it in there like this. I'm gonna hold it like that so you can't see the other side. I think the ear needs to be a little smaller. What do we think? One, and then one over here, two. Maybe they need to be closer. Let's try making another one. I'm gonna to try to make one that's smaller. Or or not maybe not smaller, but like more fat on the bottom. We'll try it again. Uh, I like the idea of adding it to a pipe cleaner. That's a good idea. Because then we don't have to sew it on. Three, four. <laughs> Single, half, double, triple. One, two. Great. All right. Slightly fatter on the bottom. Let's see how this looks. One, two, three. Double, half double, single, mini pico, single, hi Jiminy, I hear you, right like that. I'm not sure if this is gonna look any different than the other one, but it might. I think. 
Thank you very much for the bless you. I'm so blessed. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two. Okay, let's see. This might have gotten a little too big. Like that. So we got one. Now the, these ears are not the same. So well, I'm gonna make another ear in a second, but I think I like it a little bit fatter of an ear, but that's kind of what it'll look like. Do we like that? And then we'll, I think I might just pin them on. I don't even think I want to, I mean, we could have them to a pipe cleaner, I guess. Sam, yes, you are absolutely allowed to sell a uh, ghost you make with my pattern. You totally can. Just please, if you sell them online, um, add in the description pattern by clubcrochet.com somewhere in the description, just to give credit where it is. Um, you like the second option better. Okay, great. Cause I'm making another one of those now. Uh, so single, half, double, triple, and then one, two. Oh, my stomach is a rumbling. I'm very hungry, apparently. Now we go one, two, three. Double. Half double, and then we do the single mini pico, and then pico. that's perfect. One, two, all right, almost got this done. for the leaf, I think. I like these cute little leaves though. I mean, even if I don't, <laughs> like even if I didn't use them for this, I think uh, these are cute. Very cute. Okay. This one and not this one, this one. Those are our cat ears. And we like them. We're pinning them. Or I mean, pipe cleaner is easy. Let's get a green pipe cleaner. So I think I can just go like with this green pipe cleaner and just make a really simple Just use half, I have a half of a pipe cleaner. And then I'll go through one side here. Actually, I might just, oh no. We'll go through like this. Can you see that from the front? No, good. That, and then we'll go like this. Have it like that. Yep. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'll just wind this around and double knot this around it. First, let's double knot it. Just so this these ends don't go anywhere. Okay. Cut it. See how this goes, and then we'll just twist this. It's very long, but I think this will work. And now we'll have a little pipe cleaner, and we can go ahead and just find a good stitch. Put one leaf here. And now we could take it out if we don't want it. But it's attached. We'll do another one. Oh, we can end this vote, by the way. All right. Guys, this is going to be close to the end here. Uh, last little plea. If you haven't yet, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, and we're going to do another live stream next week making ghosts. And uh, it should be pretty fun. We're going to customize some ghosts, see what we can make, and just have some fun. That's no fun. There we go. Around this way. And make sure to check out the new uh, Hummingbird Rough Draft pattern. I'll put put on the website it'll be out soon but I need as much feedback as I can as soon as possible before I record the video next week so looking for play or for testers for that that one's not working this one's this one's giving us trouble we go through this right here and then through that also, uh, you know, sign up for a membership if you can. The last day to sign up is going to be the uh, October 31st. So Halloween night is going to be our last chance for signing up for a Club Crochet membership if you want one. For To get the kits, I mean. guy is fighting this ear does not want to be attached to a pipe cleaner it's like no please I don't want it too bad for pliers my fingers are not tiny enough for this yarn a little bit but whatever okay there you go Ooh, off to get food enjoy your food I am very excited to also get food Thank you guys so much for joining too. All right, let's add this ear and then get out of here. Okay, this ear, once I, don't sneeze. Can I sneeze, am I gonna sneeze? Maybe. So want the other ear like right there, right? Is that too far out? Yeah, that looks good.
There we go. There's our pumpkin cat. Oh my god. New pumpkin cat. Cat lantern. Who knows? What do we think, guys? Look, that's what it looks like from the back. From the front. Let's get this a little more angled. Get our vine out a little further. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is that is really cute. <laughs> that is really, really cute. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, you know the dealio memberships and all that stuff. Check out the pattern, uh, clubcrochet.com slash pumpkin. Um, also, grab the zombie pattern if you want. I'm going to make it not free soon, so uh, grab it while you can. And the stem is totally like a cattail. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And I will see you next week, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, pasta la pizza. No, you know what? Actually, you hang up first, though. This time, maybe you could hang up first, though. Maybe. Maybe it could be you that hang up right there. Maybe you could hang up first there. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. Fossil pizza. Okay, bye.